welcome to the demo scene for the uh, Devil's Pack PBR. This is uh, the latest demo scene with the mesh morphine, so it's going to take a little bit longer because this guy has some crazy mesh morphine. So we're going to go through other stuff first and we'll get to that in just a bit. Um, so the basic stuff, let me zoom in a little bit, let's show some lighting setups. Uh, you can set these all up uh, to see how we would look in different lighting setups. This is more of an interior look and some colored lighting and top down. So we'll stick with the daytime lighting. All right, let's talk about textures and the meshes here. So there is a lot of stuff here. Uh, if you're going to use this on mobile, I would suggest turning off the fur and the chain mail because really it's a, it's not something you're really going to see on a, such a small screen. Um, but we've got them here for desktop use because they look really nice. Um, and there's a lot going on here, so I'm going to uh, go through it um, as best as I can. Uh, we have some texture sets. Now all the textures are customizable in the editor. Um, you can use sliders to make it look exactly how you want, changing you know the color of these bumps, the color of the emissive values, the color of the skin. So we've separated them into a lot of different sections for you, including all the armor and then parts of the armor. Um, and so if you want to do that, that's amazing. It's got some great potential for you to just customize it to make it look like it belongs in your level the way that you really want it to. If you don't want to go through that, we do have texture sets. So for all the wardrobe here, or this is I guess the body protector set, so we've got the default red here, this blue and this black, we'll come back to that in a bit once we take off all the clothes. For the wardrobe, we've got this alternate one which is more of a bronze copper look, alternate two which is more bright, and I did it this way because I wanted to show the separation between different parts. There's a lot of different parts separated and you can change you know, each one individually. Um, we'll stick with the demo, but I mean, if you wanted to go through this once you've got the package, you can actually change these individually um, and uh, you know for yourself um, but uh, we'll stick with 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 just uh, the default look for now um, we can actually turn these off as well uh, you can turn them on and off uh, and design characters that fit for your game and you could also create different levels of characters uh, so this is the chain mail underneath uh, chain mail on the body the chainmail is something that you definitely want to use underneath. It's not meant to be used by itself. Uh, these chains are only meant to be used with the uh, body armor, but from far away it could look fine like that. Uh, so let's just basically take off all the clothes. This is some leg armor. Fur as well uh, is not really not meant to be used without the stuff on top. So for these uh, thigh armor here, if you want to, you know, you should probably turn the fur off before you turn off the armor, uh, and then. Got these shin armor, the leather armor on the chest, the pauldrons. Now these on the sides are, are really nice, um, and there's the leather ones underneath. Uh, and depending on the mesh morphing later, you might not be able to use both depending on your settings. Um, but that's just a small consideration uh, to keep in mind. So you have the different tassels for the leather and the chain, waist armor, and the loincloth. Okay, so here is our naked devil. Uh, now let's check out these body again. This is the black one. Let's well, get the blue one and the red one. It also comes with three different patterns though. So we've got the um, pattern B and pattern C. Uh, and again, each one has its own texture set for that. Uh, and then we've got three different heads. One, two, and three. And we'll look in more of that later when we get into the mesh morphine. And three different horns and then the horns off as well and you can also turn the tail off so you can really design a lot of different levels of character by um, combining different levels or different amounts of armor uh, and different uh, you know settings on on just the meshes and the textures um, beyond that though we've got the blend shapes so let's go through that um, now there's 175 blend shapes Let me actually pause it real quick and I'll show you Inside the Devil's Demo scene here, uh, the prefab, we've got all these uh, blend shapes available to you. Each one is um, controls just a little bit, and the blend shape script here allows you some flexibility. You've got quick buttons to reset the values or reload the blend shapes all together. You can turn on and off the wireframe in the scene view, so while you're working on it, uh, you can turn off the wireframe, makes it easier to see. Uh, and then you can also export the values as a pref pref uh, set. Um, you can save this as a prefab. Now that's that's important. You can uh, save every version of this as a prefab in your scene. But if you want to only save the values without saving another object, you can actually export these as a preset, 
The only consideration is that the preset um, file is just a bunch of numbers, and then if you have the toggle turned off, uh, then an asterisk, and um, and the, the the order is based on this. So if you were to take out, say, body C and remove that from the object entirely, then the presets would no longer work for this entire object. So you really only want to make the presets when you're ready to use it, perhaps in game, um, like we're going to do right now with the demo. So there's a lot of options, and I didn't want to list all of these in one giant long scroll wheel down here. And so instead I made uh, these presets. Alright, so I've um, uh, attached, uh, or have a couple presets here for the body. This is uh, the default one we're seeing now, and the body one's more muscular here. And body two's got a little skinnier, and needs a fatso, uh, got a fat belly there. Um, and uh, it's important to note that as we change those, the armor will change too. We'll check that out in just a bit. We also have um, our face shapes. So let me go switch to the face camera. Um, all right, so this is head A. Let's go back here. We got the default shape. Head A. One, two, and three. And these are all the same head, just with the different meshes to create all these different looks from it, basically. Um, four different looks. Now you can use the sliders and change it even more. Uh, we also have head B. This is the, the default shape for head B right there. We got this one, this one, and this one. And again, all of these are customizable. Um, we got head C. The default shape there. Uh, and then we got this look right there. This look in there. We just rotate a little bit to the side. So again, this is all on head C. This is all head B. And head A. So there's a lot of options you get there. We'll go ahead and turn a bunch of the armor back on. Alright, now what I want to point out is that the armor will match the blend shape. So we've got our default shape for the body now. We go to the muscular ones, the armor will grow with it, and the fat one, the armor will grow with that. Uh, we do our best to make it as perfect as possible, uh, but of course it doesn't always, uh, you know, when you're meshing the, the shapes, the animations are based on the default look. So as you mesh around, uh, out, you like that, as you mesh around, as you, as you mesh around uh, with the blend shapes, um, you may find some issues where you've got some body parts poking out during animations and whatnot. Um, if that's an issue for your game, then you, know, you just want to be aware of that. For most games, you probably won't really notice it. Um, and then you can also change the armor itself. So we've got the default armor here. Uh, I've made a couple other ones where things get spikier and then this one's, things are more dull. Um, so there's a lot you can do with these. Uh, if you combine blend shapes with alternate textures and alternate skins and turning the horns on and off. Um, there's a whole hell of a lot you can do, and it's kind of insane. Uh, so let's check out animations now that we're uh, past all that stuff. Alright, so I'm going to leave it at this uh, settings right here, just for now. Um, and um, Alright, so the, our audio sound effects are all included in the an with the animations, and you notice that this chain sound and every once in a while a, a little breathing grunty sound, those are played randomly. Now the audio script that comes with it that I've made, it's a very simple script but it's got some uh, easy little options for randomly playing audio sometimes during a loop. So for this idle loop I think the grunt is played like 4% of the time and the chain is played like maybe 8% of the time. Um, so there you go. And we got our walk here, and a walk backwards. Let me see, I think I can turn off the particles. Turn off the particles there. Okay, so they're walk backward, walk forward. Uh, we also have our item break. Our attacks. Attack two. Uh, pay attention also to the face here. Um, I kind of want to highlight that if I may. Uh, once we, let me go and stop the zoom here. Um, and a big shout out to Davey the animator who did these animations. Uh, well, I guess it's too close. Uh, zoom out a little bit. The facial animations are really killer. Uh, we can slow this down a little bit. 
Look at that. Um, there's blinking, there's the, the mouth, all the stuff. So I just wanted to highlight that and uh, point out that you get a lot of realism um, with these animations that I don't think uh, a lot of people expect, especially from asset store models. Alright, so then we got attack 4. I like that one. I'm going to show that one with the particles on real quick because uh, I just like it. That's a great little trail there. Uh, okay, we got the cast. This uh, lasts as long as you want. Dodge, where he just kind of hops back. Got hit. I like his got hit because he's so tough that he got, he moves back, but he's kind of like pissed off as he comes back to shake it off. Look at that. Uh, he can jump to the left, jump to the right. He has taunt. Now the taunt has uh, some audio where he says die, but it's set to not play all of the time. Why is it playing? There you go. Uh, and he's got a scream. And his death. There you go. So uh, there's a lot you can do with the, with the guy there. Um, it's kind of insane. So let's go now through the music. All right, so this is the music playing, um, and uh, you've been hearing it throughout the entire demo, but this time it's now playing through the demo. Before I just kept it in the background because it messes up my um, microphone a little bit, and it makes me sound a little funky. So uh, there's the music, just like everything else, is customizable. Um, you can make it your own. And that's the point. I want you to, to be able to make it your own. So you can use what you're hearing right now, which is the composer's mix. You can use that if you want in your game. Sounds great. It's very exciting. Um, however, uh, with the Unity Audio Mixer, you can create your own uh, mixes and at least little snapshots. And inside the game, you can uh, move from one snapshot to another. So for instance, uh, if you want to you know, have some nice ambient music, you can, you can use one of these calmer ones. And uh, here's calmer two. And you can see the changes down here. You, this is basically similar to what you'll see in the Unity Audio Mixer, which I suggest you use. Uh, and these, these have a different set of mix, so you, like this one takes out a lot of the drums and percussion. This is the pause one, this just adds a uh, low pass filter. So maybe when you pause the game, your players hear there's an actual difference, you know? Uh, and if you want one that's much more ambient, just take this no melody. So there's there's a lot you can do here. These percussion ones just have um, bring out the percussion a lot. Um, I believe percussion two takes out everything but the percussion. So now you just got this really cool drum track. Then we've got the distortion, which adds a um, takes it mixes it well, but also adds a, a distortion filter to a lot of the tracks. So there's a lot you can do with the music as well. Um, I want to highlight that because my goal with all of these characters, and if you haven't seen the rest, you should go to infinitypbr.com and see the rest. My goal with these is to give you as much flexibility as possible, um, to the point where your characters, your audio is not at all uh, the same as somebody else's in another, who's making a different game. Um, I want, when I was making a game with Asset Store Art, one of the biggest hurdles was getting art that matched the scene I wanted to make. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the characters, if they come with any ver variety in the texture, it's just a couple, you know, uh, huge shifts in the in the texture set, and that's it. Um, and a lot of times, the armor isn't modular or anything like that. So, I'm hoping that you know, you guys who are watching this, 
see the value here and, and decide to support um, the project because uh, you know I think I'm doing something pretty cool and I think uh, it's something that will help everybody out uh, and uh, I hope you think so too so if you have any questions let me know on the uh, ask, uh, the, the Unity forums and, um, uh, and support request as well there uh, and uh, have a great day